All right, tell me what brings you in today. Um, I have some left knee pain. Okay, how long has this been going on? Um, about a month or so. Okay, uh, tell me about it. Did anything happen to start the knee pain? Um, well, funny story. Uh, I work in a building where it actually has the slowest elevator in Spokane, so we all have to use the stickers all day long, and I constantly go from the basement to the third floor, so I'm walking up the stairs a lot, several times a day, and just kind of started hurting after doing that a lot. Okay, so it's been going on for a month, and you think that what's triggering it is going up and down the stairs? Any other activities that bother you? Um, mainly just stairs. Okay. Can you tell me where it hurts? Um, kind of on the on the front of the knee. Front of the knee. And can you describe the pain? Um, a dull, achy pain. And severity on a scale of one to ten, uh, one being uh, minimal pain and ten being the worst pain you've ever felt. Um, I mean, right now, like just sitting here is probably a one, but if I have to, you know, go up and down stairs, it's like a four or five. Okay. Um, what makes it worse? What makes it better? Um, what makes it worse is obviously having to go up and down the stairs. Um, and then also if I'm like sitting at my desk for a while and then I get up and go up the stairs, especially like if I've been sitting for a long time, it hurts. Um, and then what makes it better, I mean, sometimes I ice it when I get home, um, I a little ibuprofen and rest. Okay. And any other medical history on this knee or lower leg, any surgeries, fractures, anything else I should know about? No. All right. Well, I'm going to start just by observing your knee a little bit. Can you scoot that for me? Perfect. Yeah. So your heels are on the table there. Okay. Color alignment seems fairly well in alignment. Yeah, can you flex this quad for me? And then flex this quad. And relax. And then both of them at the same time. And relax. Uh, so the teller movement goes through tracks pretty much straight up. Okay, any pain as I palpate around you? Mm -hmm. On the top. Right there on the bottom. Yeah. So it's a little bit more sore. Mm -hmm. okay, so down there, up here, and there. Where's it worse? On the bottom. On the bottom? Yeah, down here. Okay. Uh, and the thing over here, up here, and actually go up in here. We have a little bit. And so in here. That's a little sore. little sore when I'm in the middle, mm -hmm. but not so much on the edges. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. Um, we're going to have you actually. Uh, Let's have you scoot to the edge of the table. And we're, I'm just, uh, great, around there works. Okay, I want you to straighten this knee out. Uh, so straighten it out all the way and back down. And the same thing over here. And back. So active extension looks good. Uh, does that bother you at all? No. And when you straighten your knee out, uh, yourself, did it bother you? No. Okay. Uh, and then I want you to extend your knee firm. Hard as you can, hard as you can, hard as you can. And then pull back down. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, and extend your knee. Push, 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 push. And pull back down. All right, strength on extension was uh, four plus out of five. And uh, strength on flexion was a five out of five bilaterally. And was there any uh, discomfort with extension? A little bit. A little bit. You feel it, and where did you feel it? I'm in that. Right in that same spot. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to have you uh, scoot back and roll on your stomach for just a little bit of your flexion amount. All right. Um, so we'll start with your healthy one. I'm just going to bring this back towards your rear. It's only one. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so good normal amount of flexion there. And, okay, uh, so about 
Does that stop there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like about 10 degrees less knee flexion on the injury side. Uh, and then we're going to have you do that hamstring curl again. I want you to pull in as hard as you can. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. Great. And then same thing. Pull as hard as you can. Pull, 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 pull. Great. And five out of five strength there. Okay. And then roll back on your back for me. And you can sit down. down. We'll start again on your uninjured side. And that didn't bother you at all. Okay. The same thing over here. Just some quick tests. No clicking or walking during the back pass. And let's actually also, uh, so you have a little bit less quad range motion. Let's look at your hamstring range motion. So I'm going to. probably about it. Okay. So about 90 degrees. And so I'm going to. So about 90 degrees as well. So equal bilaterally, not a ton, but not bad. <laughs> All right, and then uh, let's have you sit up. And I'm going to have you stand just right at the end of the table. All right, you have your feet shoulder width apart for me. And take a step away from the table um, so that you can do a squat. Um, so if you need to move the hard way forward, you can. And I want you to just do a squat for me. Um, all the way down if you can. And then back up. And down. And <laughs> so, the balance there and back up. Okay. Uh, and then have a seat back on the table one last time. And scoot back a little bit more for me. And I'm just really trying to relax your leg for me. Actually, scoot so your heels are on the table. Good enough. There you go. Now relax. All right. Uh, so, uh, superior inferior patellar mobility is normal. Uh, slightly hypomobile on medial lateral glide. Same on the affected side. Slightly hypomobile. Uh, and a little bit hypomobile on superior inferior uh, glide. Uh, normal amount of Superior inferior tilt. Let's see, and I want you to contract your quad form. Okay, and that didn't bother you. And contract. Um, so, no grinding or crepitus with that. All right, let's talk about what I think is going on.